Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to video. Today I'll be installing Android 9.0 Linux OS 16 on my Galaxy Tab S2. Yes, that's right, as you can see, I no longer have my old Tab 2, I've already gave it to someone. It was a great tablet in my opinion, but it's time to move on. Anyway, this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 9.7 inch tablet, SMT810 model. It has 32 gig internal storage and I've got a 128 gig micro SD card in it so I can keep any files I like on my tablet. And I know that most of you are eager about installing Android 10 or Linux OS 17 on these similar devices, but unfortunately Linux OS 17 is just not working on this device at the moment, but I'll keep you guys posted. So at the moment it's running stock Android 7.0 and I'll show you guys step by steps on installing Linux OS 16. Android 9.0. That being said, if you learned something or find this video interesting, drop a like below and maybe consider subscribing to my channel because it really means a lot and I love doing these videos. So anyway, let's get started. Here we're going to do a clean install of the RAM today and I'll also show you how to back up your device properly along the video so that you can restore it if you run into errors or you don't like something. The tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader is out of the scope of this video so unfortunately you'll just have to google and research about it. Alright before we get started, if you haven't already installed Samsung USB drivers, just go ahead and do that. I'll provide all the links in the video description and if any link is broken let me know as well, I'll update them as quickly as possible. In regards to rooting. You don't need to root your device to install custom ROM, but you can if you want to. However, some apps like Netflix might not work on the rooted devices, but in that case, you can always unroot your device and those apps should work fine. Also, I won't be rooting the tablet in this tutorial as it is not needed. Just make sure your bootloader is unlocked. Okay, so next we'll download Odin. Just use the latest version that's available and there should be no problem. The latest version for Odin at the moment is 3.14.1, so just download that one. And then we're going to have to download the TWRP recovery. So to do that, locate your device, go to Samsung, and then go to tab S2 in my case. And then my one is the 2015 model. And you can choose any server you like. Make sure you're downloading version 3.3.1. It's very important that you download version 3.3.1 and not 3.4. So download the .rmg.tar file. And then after that, we're going to download the custom ROM. For this device, you can't download the August 16 build because it's stuck in the boot. So download the August 10 build and don't download the Linux OS 17.1. It just doesn't work. So download the Linux OS 16 2020 um, August 10 build. That's for the custom ROM. And then after that, we're going to download the Google Apps package. So this device is a 32-bit platform. So it's the ARM Android 9.0 and choose Micro. It's the best for this purpose. So after you download all of them, you're going to end up with these files. So TWRP version 3.3.1, Samsung USB driver, download and install that if you haven't already. Um, Google Apps package, the Odin. I'm also downloading the custom ROM and it should be finishing very soon. So here I've downloaded the custom ROM and all the other files that I needed. So what I'm going to do now is copy the custom ROM and the Google Apps package to my SD card. And before we do anything, we need to enable USB debugging. So to enable USB debugging, go to settings and then go down. And if you don't have the developer options enabled, you can go to about tablet. Go to software information and then click on the build number for about five, six times. I've already enabled the developer mode, so it's right here. And then go down and you'll find the USB debugging and then turn that on. Now we're going to install the TWRP recovery. So you have to shut it down. Also remove the power cable. and then you need to put it into the download mode. To do that, you need to press the power button, volume down, and the home button together. And then volume up to continue. And now reconnect your USB cable. 
Also on your computer, unzip Odin and open the exe file. And you'll find that uh, your Odin is detected. And now click on AP and then navigate to the recovery file and then click start. Make sure you see this pass successful icon. And once that is done, you can exit Odin and your device should be booted. Now we're going to check the files are copied so we can see Lineage OS file and the Google Apps files. Now we're going to reboot into recovery mode, so power off and unplug your USB cable. So now we're going to boot into recovery mode. To do that, you have to press the power button, volume up button and the home button together. So power button, volume up and home. And keep on holding it. And here you, see, you can see the TWRP version 3.3. And you can just swipe right to allow modifications. So over here, we need to make a backup of the system so that if something goes wrong, we can always restore it. So to do that, go to backup. I usually like to do the first five, so boot, recovery, um, system, system image and data, and then swipe to backup. I've already made a backup, so I don't want to do that again. So click to go back. And now before we install custom room, we need to factory reset and wipe everything. So go to wipe, go to advanced wipe. Now select the cache system data. Now for the internal storage, if you don't have SD card, I recommend don't click this option because your photos, your um, backup data will all be deleted. But if you have already backed up the storage into your computer, then you can safely choose internal storage as well as cache file and then swipe to wipe. And click go back. Go to main page. And now we're going to install the custom run. And here, what we're going to do is this is the internal storage. So we're going to select the storage to SD card. Click OK. And then this is the Lineage OS 10th August update. And swipe to confirm flash. And it's just going to take a couple of minutes. And if you have any questions at the moment, let me know down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And once it's successful, you'll see the successful message. And now we need to install the Google Apps package. So go back and then choose the Google Apps ARM 9.0 micro package. And then swipe to confirm flash. And it's just going to take a couple of minutes. And here you'll see the installation is also successful. Now before we reboot the system, we're going to wipe cache one last time. And now reboot the system. You can either swipe to install TWRP, I just do not install. So as you can see, the device has finally booted up. Now everything is set up. And you can use either of the home app and you can change it later if you want to. Everything is nice and smooth for now, but I'll have to use a couple more days to see how it actually performs. So just to confirm everything. So we got SMT810, um, Android 9.0 build number, and it was built on August 9th. Um, and we can enable the developer option. And you can go to developer option as well. So, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is Android 9.0, Lineage OS 16 on um, Galaxy Tab S2. If you've got any questions, drop them down in the comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more tech related videos. I really appreciate all your help. Anyway, hope you have a great day and peace out.